Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Brie. I live in Nevada and on this channel I love to talk about all things knit and crochet. It is Sock Week 2023 and if you are unaware Sock Week is an event hosted by Natalie of Knitty Natty. It is an eight-day make-along where you are challenged to start and complete one sock in the week, either knit or crochet. So it is a wonderfully organized event and I will link Natalie's channel below so if you have not participated in any of the years it's been hosted you can try to participate next year it's super fun and free to do but I figured since this is my first year doing it it would be fun to make a project vlog of me trying to knit a sock in a week I have already planned out my week as I mentioned Natalie did a wonderful job putting together this event and hosting it. So she provided a little plan that you can follow to try to get your sock done in a week and break it up evenly. So I have followed that plan and written it into a planner, which I will try to go off of as best as I can. So yeah, I will show my planner and tell you guys the plan as I go and check in every day and hopefully have a sock at the end of the week. All right, so as I mentioned, Natalie posted an image on Instagram with a schedule you can follow to make your sock, and she posted a cuff down and a toe up version. So I just went ahead and copied it into my own planner with the numbers for my individual sock. And it starts today on Sunday, July 9th. And the goal for today is to cast on and do the cuff. And then for the rest of the week, we have the leg split into two days. So I'm going to do 25 rows each day, the heel on Wednesday, and then the foot rows split into two days, Thursday and Friday, which I have divided 33 and 33. Saturday is the toe and grafting it together. And then Sunday is a buffer day. So I just saw this image and thought it would be a good idea to copy it down so I can check my things off as I do it and I can put my actual numbers in and it'll just feel more organized. So I hope to go off of this as best as I can starting with today casting on and doing my 20 row cuff and I am going to be using I don't think I mentioned the color luminaries from fuzzy peach fibers on the soft sock base so I already have that all wound up and ready to cast on. Today is Sunday, July 9th. It is the first day of sock week and I have just finished casting on my sock. I haven't even split for magic loop or anything yet. I just cast it on and put it aside. And that is because I normally don't have really any time to knit or crochet over the weekends at all. We have a lot of family time. We play, hang out, watch TV, ride bikes, do all the things. So um, my goal for today it may not seem very ambitious, but it is considering the amount of time I have, is to just get through the, cu the cuff. Um, I'm probably going to do 15 or 20 rounds for the cuff and a two by two rib. I'm not really following a pattern of any sorts. I'm just doing a vanilla sock and I'm going to try a new heel technique once we get there. But yeah, for today, I'm gonna try to get through the cuff. We'll see if that happens. I will check in at the end of the day and update you all. It is almost 8 p.m. just about. The first day of sock week is coming to an end. Also, I am sorry about the lighting, bear with me, but we had such a hectic day, so much going on, but yet I managed to get my cuff done. So that's super exciting. That was my goal for the day. I did a 20 round cuff with two by two rib and a German twisted cast on which is my new favorite. I love how it looks So yeah, I'm super happy. I met my goal. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to I normally don't have a lot of knitting time on Sundays and today I don't know felt like There was so much happening, but I managed to do it So I'm super happy and I will check in again tomorrow and maybe get a little bit ahead on my plan for tomorrow We'll see It is Monday, July 10th, day two of sock week, and I'm a little bit late checking in. I can't even say this morning because it's already 1 p.m., but I have just gotten started on my work for today, so 
I've done five rows of stockinette and I haven't had much time yet, but now I have quite a bit of time to get going on this sock. So hopefully I get my 25 rows done today. I might get ahead, we'll see how it goes. But this is my day two first check-in. Today is Tuesday, July 11th, the third day of sock week. Yesterday when I left off, I had 25 rows of the leg done and over the course of the evening, I got an additional 16 done. So this morning I woke up and had 41 rows of the leg done with only nine more to complete to get my 50 row leg, I guess 10, depending on how you look at your rows. But I went for a walk just now and got another five done. So I have just five left and it's looking so good. So my goal for today is to finish the leg and I am trying a new heel technique, which is the Fish Lips Kiss Heel by Patty Joy White. So I need to read through the pattern. I purchased it a while ago. I'm going to read through it and try to get my heel done maybe today. We'll see. I have a lot to do. So I will check in at the end of the day and let you guys know how my progress goes. Today is Wednesday, July 12th. I'm seeing some crazy hairs. I'm seeing sourdough's tail. Let's ignore both of those. It is the fourth day of sock week and I did not get a chance to hi check in yesterday at the end of my day, but I finished my heel. It looks kind of silly because I haven't done any foot stitches at all. But I did the fish lips kiss heel as I mentioned and it was so amazing. I loved it. It was such a fun, um, way of doing it. I love doing the short rows rather than... Uh, one thing I don't like about the doing a heel flap and gusset is the... Um, sorry, I can't find my words. Picking up the stitches and then decreasing them all after. I don't know what it is about that. I just... I don't like doing it. I mean, it's nothing... I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't like doing it that much. It's always like my least favorite part is having all those stitches you need to decrease. And this pattern is so great because it is just a wonderful short row heel. So I highly recommend it. I really loved it. And now today I need to get into the foot. So I didn't account for how I would have a little bit more foot rows because I don't have the gusset that I've already created in my heel. So I'll have a little bit more foot foot rows than I anticipated for, so I guess it's a good thing that I got a little bit ahead and did my heel yesterday. So we will see. I hope to get mostly through the foot rows today. I'm not sure. I still have quite a bit of homework and things to read and catch up on, so I'm not sure, as I've said every day, but I have gotten ahead every day, so we'll see. And I will check in with you guys later. Today is Thursday, July 13th. It is the fifth day of sock week. I also did not get a chance to check in at the end of the day yesterday, but my sock is almost done. Oh, it's like so bright. There we go. So I got so many rows of the foot done yesterday and I just have, I want to say like 20 more rows left. I said yesterday how I didn't account for having more foot rows than usual without doing the gusset decrease rounds, but it's going to be like less than 10 additional rows. So not too much. I'm super excited and I'm hoping to get my sock done today. Look at how beautiful this yarn is. I wish I could... I'm right in the window trying to show it. But yeah, I should get that done today. I. I actually have um, quite a bit of time today. So yeah, we will see. And I will really try to check in at the end of the day since that hasn't been happening the past couple days. And maybe tomorrow I will cast on sock number two. Sock number one is complete. I'm trying to like lay it out to get a good shot of it, but it's just not laying correctly without blocking. But this is what it looks like. It looks so good. I love the heel. So I finished my sock by Thursday, which is super awesome. Sourdough's here, per usual. But yeah, I have never, I feel like, finished an, oh my goodness, a knit project in, what is that, five days? I think I said four earlier, but I finished it by day five. So we'll see if I get anything else done 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, he's so distracting to me this weekend. Also, does anyone else's cat sit like this? I feel like he is so silly. He always sits like that. Um, it's just, I think it's cute, but it's kind of silly. <laughs> but yeah, here's the sock. Sorry, this isn't a cat podcast, but he's so cute. Okay, we will see what else I get done this week. Today is Friday, July 14th. It is day six of sock week. And I have just sat down to start editing this video that you are watching. And I have been working on the sock number two for my sock week pair. So my new goal is to just get as far through the sock as I can throughout the weekend. As I've mentioned, I don't have a ton of knitting time over the weekend. It's usually super busy and I don't have much time to myself, but I, I just want to work on it. I don't want to set any goal that's like to finish the sock because I just think that'll be too ambitious and put too much pressure on myself. So yeah, I'm happy. I already met my goal of one sock in one week and anything now is just bonus points. So I think that's enough to be excited over. And I've also noticed that I have not been good at checking in at the end of the day. As I've been editing this video, I've realized that every day I say I will check in at the end of the day, and that's happened like two or three times. So I apologize for that, but I will try to be better at maintaining that throughout these next three days, and we will see what I end up with at the end of sock week. It is about 8 p.m. on Friday. I am getting ready to wind down for the day. No! <gasps> Sourdough just cut my yarn. Okay, as I was saying before, sourdough literally cut my yarn. Um, it's about 8 p.m. on Friday, end of day five. Sorry for the lighting. I know it's horrible. I'm like sitting in front of a window right in front of the sunset, and it's just like orange no matter how I do it. But I got so much done of the leg today. Oh, can you see it? Okay, I got all 50 leg rows done. So yeah, we'll see how the weekend goes. I still am not going to set the goal of finishing the whole sock just over the weekend, but I'm pretty happy with my progress. So I will check in again tomorrow. Today is Saturday, Saturday, July 15th the seventh day of sock week. I will show my sock right now, but I need to preface and let you know that we just tie-dyed shirts and both of my gloves had holes in them. So my hands look a little terrifying, but nonetheless, we have a sock to talk about. So, oh, it is 7.30 p.m. So I didn't do a morning check-in because right when I got up, I got directly to work on my heel. And I know, oh, yesterday, I feel like I need to give a little more context. I was sitting on my bed showing the sock and the, holding the sock and the cake of yarn was on the floor and sourdough was hiding under my bed. And when I was showing it, he went and like bit the yarn from under the bed. So he cut the yarn, but I feel like it was at the perfect place because I was going right into the heel and that's a place where people like normally join in a new color anyway. So it was fine. Um, what else? Oh yeah, went right to work in the heel. It went by super fast and I've just been working away on it today. I know I said I usually don't get a lot of time on the weekends and that's because we're usually out and about all day, but it was 105 degrees today and it was like an excessive heat warning. So we were inside all day and I spent all of that time, sorry, there's someone walking their dog and it's really cute. I spent all that time like just doing a couple rows whenever I had the chance and I got super far. So my new goal is to finish the sock in sock week. But yeah, that is my update for today. Um, we will see. I don't know if I will be able to get through an entire half of a foot and toe tomorrow, but if I do, then I will have completed a pair of socks in a week. And that is super exciting. So I will check in one last time tomorrow. It is the last day of sock week and we are almost done with sock number two. I'm just working on the heel right now. Sorry, my nails still look gross from the tie-dye. But it's been another 103 degree day. 
So lots of indoor time, lots of knitting time. And I realized I do have time on the weekends. I just don't usually prioritize knitting. I prioritize being active and out and about. So I've learned that I have way more time than I initially thought. But yeah, I am about to finish this off. It shouldn't take me more than another 30 minutes or so. And I'm going to get these blocking and I have finished an entire pair of socks in one week. So that is super exciting. Sock week is officially over and I am very excited to show that I completed the entire pair, which is not what I was expecting to do. So I am very pleased with myself. These socks came out so wonderful. Again, this is the color Luminaries from Fuzzy Peach Fibers in the Soft Sock Base. I don't know if this color is available at the moment. I th I'm not sure if it is. She was doing some dye to order, but I'm, I know she just put out a new collection. So it might not be available right now, but it's one of those colors that she keeps in stock because I think it's one of the ones that a lot of people reach for. But it's a vanilla sock fish lips, kiss heel, and just a regular toe. So yeah, I'm super happy, super pleased with myself. Sock week was such a fun event to participate in. It's a very communal event. Everyone comes together and challenges themselves and works hard to create socks. And I think I saw this morning that like 1300 socks were submitted into the Google form that's available to enter for prizes. So that is a lot of socks and I think that's super fun because I think a lot of people who like knit and crochet are homebodies and tend to spend a lot of time at home and unless you're a regular at a yarn shop or anything like that, there isn't a ton of opportunities for these big community events. So make-alongs are where you find that and this was my first time doing a make-along and I loved it. I loved the challenge and just seeing everyone else's progress so I would definitely recommend participating next year if you didn't get to this year or if there's any other make-alongs that you're not sure if you are 100% committed I would definitely recommend it especially if it's an event like this where it was free to attend you didn't have to purchase any patterns or anything um you could purchase like the sponsors for extra points but it was not necessary you could just do it for fun and for free so yeah definitely check out Natalie's channel which I will link as I've mentioned but this was such a fun thing. I don't know. I don't have anything better to say about it. It was super well organized, very efficient, and very, very exciting. So I'm proud of myself. I now know that I can, in fact, knit a pair of socks in a week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.